Right in the mail, MS sex games from Japan. Collecting with our fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey, you true electric adventures here with a package in the mail all the way from France. <clears throat> Very well packaged. I believe this is from Kote Gamers. The guys that helped out with printing my book. Uh, but they also release software titles as well. Um, very well wrapped. So lots and lots of packaging. Okay, so they have these uh, larger box designs. I've had one title from them um, before, I think one. <coughs> um, but this one is called Uwol The Quest for Money, and it's uh, quite a colourful platform game. So, for the ColecoVision, I didn't say that. Authenticity with my name on it. <laughs> um, a nice thick manual. Oops, flippy double side. Lots of. Um, oh, how to play, but it's also got a platform. Former's overview, sorry for not showing you guys, of um, lots of different games as well. So there's the how to play, and the print quality is really nice. And then we've got the um, overview of platformers, which is quite cool. I'll have a read of that later. And what else we've got in here? We have oh, Publish Your Game With Us. So they do have some other titles there. <coughs> so the one I have is Night and More. They've had Munch of Mouse, I don't have that one. Bomb and Blast 2, um, the other title that's here, and Uwol. Now this is the uh, European cartridge model. This is the ones my prototypes are actually publishing because of a, uh, a lot of those. So it's a little stubby cartridge, but it still works really well. Got their label repeated there, and lots of foam to keep everything safe inside the box. So they are quite large format boxes. So I haven't played this one at all. I mean, I mean I've seen <coughs> some demo screenshots and things, but I, I haven't played the game at all, so I'm most looking, looking forward to playing that one. In the next game, once you wrapped up very well. Definitely survived the trip. Next one <coughs> is called Sir Abol, and it's another adventure sort of platformer action game. It's like a little bit of a dungeon crawler. Once again, I have not seen any um, gameplays or anything like that, so we shall discover it together. Uh, once again, certificate of authentic authenticity. Can't say. Talk today uh, with my name on it. A 
wonderful thick menu again for Sir Abbott. And what's the bonus in this one? Oh, French, English. And it's got the platformers overview as well, because obviously these are both platformers, so they're adding to the uh, library of platformers. And it looks really cool. <coughs> and they've got a, um, uh, a club as well, and there's all of the current titles. So I might have to see if I can get copies of Munch and Mouse and Bomb and Blast 2 at some stage. They've still got some more copies of those. They might have to do some more runs. And there's the little cartridge. So Abba Alt. Alright, so without further ado, we should grab out the Coleco, plug these in and give them a go. Right, so here we go with Uwol, Request for Money. So we're converted across from another system, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Lots of levels to work our way through. So, take it the idea is, oh yeah. We just need to collect all the money. Oh, okay, and you press down on the one, and that takes you to the, um... Ah, oh, so you got multiple paths, which is quite cool. Oops. Nope. <laughs> Mm. So you can take two bumps unless you pick up a shield. mean. <laughs> we'll have another go. So both buttons do the same. We'll do this way this time. So there are multiple paths you can Oh, I 
actually jumped over something. There we go. So I take it we've got to go up to the top. Jumping between. Oh god! I wasn't expecting that. I obviously, took too long. Quick. Oh, what is it? It's not a bad game. Getting used to its mechanics. Yeah, you shouldn't have to fall down for that one. Yes, yeah, so you can't muck around. You've got to get on with it. Oh, oh. I only just. It's going to take me quite some time to... Oh, you can't fall down the bottom? Okay. <laughs> Don't knock this one out. Nope. on a bad puzzle platformer. Um, obviously, um, these games are supposed to be pretty hard to give a bit of a challenge, but it's actually quite interesting how you've got the different paths you can go through, so you can try and complete the game a different way. Um, and obviously some of them are harder than others, um, and the game seems to be evolving as we go through it as well. So, not too bad. Music a little repetitive. I uh, could have done a little bit of job with that, but other than that, pretty decent little game. All right, let's try the next one. Right, so next we have Sir Abba Bowl. Probably pronouncing that completely wrong. <coughs> cool. Now I had my Super Game module plugged in and had a couple of issues. I've taken that out and now it seems to be fine. So I'm not sure. So Mojon Queen's games, maybe it's a Spectrum game that's been converted across. Okay, so here's my dude here. I can jump. Both buttons jump. Touch some things and we lose health. Thing. Nothing. 
No. Oh. Oh. Well, right, we'll try again. Okay, so we obviously need to get back to that flower there. So we need to go back there. this get over here so we've got a key and a couple of um, things now Whoop. oh dear Um, little platform obviously this it's, it's obviously an originally a spectrum conversion but it's nice to see they've used sprites for all the moving objects so it gets rid of that color clash Lots of screens to um, work your way through and Whoa. this and I'm dying the whole time yeah running out of health so there's a fair bit of gameplay in all these games Oh, oh that's a bit silly. Oh, game over. Oh, well, I'll have to play that one a bit more. Why don't I? Um, I'm gonna have to make a bit of a map, I reckon. But um, two very interesting platformers. Um, I mean, the ColecoVision has a few platformers, but not a lot of, um, shall we say, adventure slash collect platformers. Uh, another one of recent thing that was quite good was called Ghost. That one's really good as well. So it's really good to see these. I mean, these are original games. They've just been converted across from another um, homebrew title from another platform. Um, not too badly done. Um, once again, good fun game. Probably could have been a little, made a little bit more colourful on the MSX, but that's all. Sorry, on the Coleco and MSX. 
All right. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this pick up and play and these two new games for the Coleco Vision. I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.